Now, after creating the executable, the task is that it should run on the target PC. If the target PC is a virgin PC, meaning it does not have lab runtime or the drivers required for running the executable, that is those drivers that were used while creating the executable and the executable will not run. The end user will have to go online, search for lab runtime of that particular version and the drivers and other required stuff before he uh, can run the executable. To solve that problem, we can create installers which can package all these requirements into one package which can be single click solution. So how do we do that? That's the topic of this video. Now let's create an installer. The first requirement is that the executable that the installer will carry should have already been created and be present on the disk. To create the installer itself, right click on build specifications, select new and then installer. Wait for the installer properties dialog box to appear. It might take a little while. After the installer dialog box launches, you can give a meaningful name Give a name to the installer exe, set a place where the installer will be created, then move to destinations. These are all the places where the installer could be installed. We will keep uh, program files as the destination and underneath is uh, creating executables, will be is folder is fine. In the source files, we select our installer and then right click, uh, right arrow, which will add the executable beneath the folder and subfolder that we have already chosen. If you need to change any settings, you can do that here. I will leave it to defaults. You can create uh, shortcuts here. This is where you choose additional installers. By default, LabVIEW can do pretty well job. Since we are not using any drivers, device drivers, the minimum requirement is NI LabVIEW runtime engine of your installed version. You can uncheck it. LabVIEW will go through your system looking for all the installers that are installed on your system and will present the results to you so that you could then select the, uh, the drivers that uh, you need to be present on the destination PC for your executable to work. Now you can place check mark against all those device drivers that you think would be needed for by your executable to run. I will leave it at automatic. In the dialog information, you can write uh, the
the welcome title and the welcome message if you have readme file you can use it you can enable it then search and include it from here if you have custom license agreement custom welcome graphic or a custom welcome graphic uh, uh, banner uh, then you can enable these and then use this button to uh, locate it on your disk i will leave it at the defaults if you need to add some registry keys you can use this uh, particular um, section you can include hardware configuration from the max in this section you can create versions company name etc since no web services are found this section is disabled you can apply digital signa signatures if you already have some and lastly you can create uh, uh, you can control the size of your executable using these this uh, option or if you want to run an executable after your installation you can use this section and before installation and you want to run some program you can use this section if you need to install custom error file you enable this one and if you you want to restrict uh, the um, runtime engine to the version you are using you can use enable this section and if you want to restrict uh, your executable to run on a particular version of windows you can use this section i will leave all these to default press ok the installer uh, settings will be created here you can right click it press build wait for the build process to complete after the installer is created you can go to the folder where it is created by pressing explore go inside this volume folder there you will find your installer double click it to launch it let the installer run through its operations So once the installation is finished, you can find your newly installed application in the start menu, underneath the recently added, click it to launch it. Once it launches, test it. To uninstall it, go to the search bar Click on add or remove programs.
search for your executable click when you once you find it click click it and then choose uninstall the preparing to remove windows installer will launch So there you have it from creating an installer, configuring it, installing the software to removing it.